As the invitation says, we are talking about the new name in haulage optimization. Someone with a, a journalistic background, of course, uh, I, I'm trained to dumb things down uh, to make things easy to understand. So let's think of it as a better way to move big loads. But uh, having said that, let's not underestimate the significance of what we are unveiling here tonight. You don't need me to tell you that we live uh, in a state that's uh, abundant uh, with resources. This is one of the world's great mining regions. Hundreds of millions of tonnes of valuable ore, plus all the other stuff that's not so valuable, uh, we dig out of the ground, we have to shift around. Uh, and we do this in some of the harshest conditions on the planet. Uh, but thankfully we have companies like this, uh, Biz, that uh, make this happen and make it happen a lot easier. They've been doing it for more than a century, uh, not just here in Western Australia, but uh, throughout 40 sites uh, here in Australia and also in Indonesia. But of course they always have a commitment to do things better. And tonight we'll get an idea of what better actually means. But before we hear from uh, Brad Rogers, uh, the Biz CEO, let's have a little look at the history of Biz. gives you a better idea, hopefully, of what uh, biz are all about, if you're not uh, aware already. At this moment, I'm going to introduce you now to the biz CEO, Brad Rogers, uh, who's going to uh, tell us some more, uh, some more about uh, the mysterious wrecks uh, as the time draws a little bit closer. Brad Rogers. Well, thanks, Tim, and hi, everyone, and uh, thank you for joining us here. And as Tim said, not only those of you who have joined us here, uh, but also to customers and employees and other people who are watching uh, this really significant occasion for us online. From the short video that you've just seen, I think you can tell that uh, we're really proud of our history here at Biz, but we're even more excited about our future. Fittingly, uh, given what we do as a company, Biz is a company on the move at the moment. Only last week we announced a really significant acquisition for us with a company called UVM, which is a leading player uh, in the mining services sector, servicing underground miners on the east coast of Australia. And that deal delivers a ready-made expansion of our existing underground business. It's a really good fit for us, and it's strategically on point. The UGM deal, though, is part of a broader strategy, a plan which focuses on providing new products in new geographical markets. And importantly, like we're talking about tonight, rolling out innovative, biz-developed products that deliver real value to our customers' operations. And so tonight our focus is innovation. And uh, before we get to the punchline, let me tell you a brief story. And it's about, about a place called Skunk Works. And uh, just stay with me on this for a moment, if you will. So late in the Second World War, aircraft maker Lockheed set up an advanced development project team to create a jet fighter for the US Air Force. They used an abandoned air hangar at Burbank Airport that they christened the Skunk Works to create a space where, and I quote, small empowered teams create powerful solutions. So Skunk Works is still going and has delivered uh, during its operation inventive solutions such as the first operational aircraft with stealth technology and composite materials for broader industry applications. Now, I realise it's a very long way um, from Burbank uh, to Bibra Lakes, but I'd like to think that this is our skunk works. Because we believe that you are standing in a space 
where we appears have created our next powerful solution. And I'd like to give you a bit of context on what we're talking about. Central to what we do is keeping things moving and at Biz we apply our thinking to deliver better solutions to our customers every day. But importantly we are not a stereotypical OEM simply seeking to sell our products to customers. We believe we bring a unique perspective and approach. We design, develop and engineer solutions at our own risk using our own intellect and capital to provide value and importantly we build them for our own use in our operating business. We use the insights gained from this infield experience moving and delivering our customers' products. For example, through Powertrans, our haulage systems design and manufacturing business, we use dual-powered road trains as a successful load and haul solution for our customers. Now, I think a lot of people here know that uh, that's really been a critical part of our business in Australia and it's enabled us to launch into Indonesia successfully as well. Uh, and those dual powered road trains uh, through our proprietary technology that was invented and owned by Powertrans enable us to haul payloads of 380, 400, up to 500 tonnes compared to competitors who are typically hauling more than 225. Their durability and reliability has been a key factor in the expansion of our business over the last few decades in Australia and in Indonesia. But we want more tools in the kit. So in late September last year, I sent an email to Scott McFarlane, uh, who's here somewhere uh, tonight, our group engineering manager, titled Engineering Challenge. Now Scott is with us here and critical uh, to where we've gotten to. So my request in that email to Scott was in the opening line, um, develop a killer out of pit hauler. I went on to say, I think there's going to be a real need for something that can compete with dump trucks on agility and gradient but be more cost effective and flexible on range. Now, in typical fashion, I was pretty generous um, with time. I said I want initial ideas in two weeks and finished with the words, get creative. So just over a year after that email left my inbox, we get a chance tonight to see just how creative Scott and his team did get. But back to the challenge. Scott and his small team did get some ideas back within those initial two weeks. There was enough there to kick off an extended campaign that went through all phases of development, concept, design, feasibility and construction. It was, as you can imagine, an exhaustive and an iterative process. For example, what payload do we want? And once we've decided that, what transmission tyres do we need to achieve the best outcome? And the central theme in this was getting back to that original email. We want something which is just as robust, just as flexible, just as agile as the existing solutions in the market today, but with much greater range capability, much better operability, and at a much lower cost point. We also mind, and I'll excuse the pun if you don't mind, customer closeness, understanding our customers' business and taking notice of their changing needs and expectation, as well as feedback on our existing equipment. In the middle of it all, Scott said he had a light bulb moment. It was a strong realisation that we could create together a new and better pit hauler. So the team consolidated the design and dug deeper into functionality, into safety and styling. The work has been done and after many, many long hours, now for the end result. Tonight, you're part of what we think will be a step change in mine haulage. The time has come, everyone. I'd like you to meet Rex. Now it is like a nightclub. What do you think? We're really impressed by that. I hope you are as well. Um, and before we get to let you all have a closer look at it and uh, let some of this smoke clear, uh, I'm going to let you know why we think that this is not just something really cool for us, not just uh, a really awesome looking truck, um, but why we think that this is going to be revolutionary and a disruptor when it comes to mine haulage. First of all, the name, Rex. So we certainly love a biz, a acronym. We know everyone in mining does. And so REX stands for RE, Rome Everywhere, and XX stands for 20 tyres. 
Um, there's 20 tyres on that thing, five axles and four tyres on each of them. And that's actually pretty critical to the design capability of Rex, critical to its agility and cost effectiveness. And if you're thinking of some other common Rexes, um, we think there's a connection there as well because we think Rex is going to be a miner's best friend. So before we get you up close and personal, let me give you a couple of key facts on a vehicle which we think really designs the best, you know, combines rather the best features of both dump trucks and longer range haul trucks into a single package. Rex is a multi-purpose tool. It can be used for overburden, out of pit haulage, short and long haulage. It's designed to carry a 160 tonne payload at a normal operating speed of 60 kilometres an hour. It has a range of at least four times that of conventional haul trucks. The multi-axle design uses conventional road trains that are more durable, cost effective and safer to replace. Rex has also been designed to operate on narrower, lower specification roads. And importantly, Rex's ability to deal with gradients and its range means it can go out of pit and all the way to a processing plant or loadout, eliminating expensive and ri sometimes risky run of mine stockpiles. Safety was a critical requirement in the design and Rex is sophisticated in vehicle management, including business fatigue management system, 360 degree cameras like your BMW at home, um, which gives you really exceptional visibility and will give you an opportunity if you're interested to jump up in the cab um, later on and I really recommend that. For those of you who have been in dump trucks, you'll see uh, how this thing has really been designed for great operability and also great maintainability. You can walk into um, the engine bay at the front, the, uh, the grill folds back like a gate and you don't need a pit. And so there's a lot of thoughtful insights that have been built into this design by our engineers based on our own experience as an operator and based on conversations that we've had with people in our own business and customers over time. So BIS is a robust, flexible haulage truck which provides miners, we believe, with agility and compelling value. It was born out of an intimate understanding of our customers' needs and challenges. As you can probably tell, we're really excited about the opportunity that REX creates for a whole range of mining operations in Australia and internationally. So REX will now be put through its paces in full operational trials at the Murrumurra Mine here in Western Australia. And I'd like to thank um, David Ayres, uh, Peter Hancock, Milo and the rest of the team at Manara for being early adopters and crucial players in the development of REX. And I believe, my port is somewhere, we've actually got a small gift for David. Oh, there we go. Both baby REX. Thank you very much. I also wanted to thank my biz team members, present and past, many of you whom are here tonight. This has been a really great team effort and what you've created is really inspirational. In particular, I'd like to thank Scott McFarlane, both Big and Little Will, uh, and all of our engineers. Uh, also to Virginie, Hannah, Camille Henderson, and our comms and marketing team, thank you so much. Finally, thank you to all of our suppliers, also many of whom are in the room here uh, today. You've done a great job and we really appreciate your support. So Rex is here, literally here, and the revolution is just beginning. We'd like to thank you for attending tonight. I hope you get to catch up with some new and old friends and most of all, I hope you get to appreciate the thing behind me because we're really proud of it and we really think it's going to have a big impact on mining in Western Australia and beyond. Thank you very much. Thank you, Brad, and congratulations uh, to you, Brad, uh, to you and all of your team. What an achievement. Incredible. Um, you will get a chance to meet uh, Rex very soon, but uh, what a spectacular introduction. Uh, for those of you watching uh, online, thank you very much uh, for being part of tonight's presentation. To those of you in the room here tonight, uh, it is time now to uh, have a closer look at the star of the show tonight. Uh, Rex, of course. I encourage you to take photos and put them up on social media. Uh, please use the hashtag MeetRex, two X's of course. Uh, Brad and his team will be also be here tonight uh, to answer any of your questions. 
uh, you'll be able to spot them because they are the ones that look like proud parents right now.